Wow. <laughs> As a manufacturer, it just feels really good to kind of feel like the capabilities of your pedal are kind of like taken through from zero to a hundred and in all those variations in between and just like a, a 30 second lick. So <laughs> thank you. Man. Uh, wow. Thank you. That's very kind. You know, a pedal like that makes it easy. That's yeah. really the key, right? Because you feel like you feel like it's working with you and responding with you. Yeah. It's amazing, man. Yeah. Well, if you don't know who I am, I'm Mason Marangella. I am the owner of Vertex Effects. And today we're gonna to be talking about our newest offering, which is the Steel String MK2. And if you're not familiar with what the Steel String is, we had a larger version of this that's based on the Dumble Steel String Singer. It's one of the most, you know, well-known versions of kind of the Dumble clean sound used by Stevie Ray Vaughan, uh, Eric Johnson, and kind of more recently John Mayer. And, and basically what we did is we took the original amp, we had serial number one, the first one ever made, mm. belonged to a client of ours, and we kind of recreated the tone of that amp as closely as possible, kind of going side by side, uh, Hot Rod DeVille as kind of our test amp, right. and then comparing it to the real deal and honing it down. And so we took that original version and we shrunk it to about 33% smaller in size, and we even added an extra feature with the Jazz Rock Switch to cut a little bass out. Some people said, you know, this Dumble sound is great, it's just so fat, it's almost too fat through our small combo amp. So we actually have a small combo to compare kind of side by side the twin reverb tone master that we're gonna be using today. But um, Don, gosh, thank you so much for agreeing to play for me. It's oh, like, you know, it's kind of a, a, a dream to kind of see the guy <laughs> whose videos you're watching all the time and then actually have him sitting across from you playing a pedal that you made. So thank man, you. Man, oh, no, absolutely my pleasure, man. It really is great. I love the dynamic feel of this thing and how responsive it is. And for me, I like um, I like playing with a clean amp, mm. you know, I really do. And so having this is almost like having a second clean sound. It's like having a second amp on stage, or it could be your go-to all the time, but it's so responsive, mm. you know, it's really great, man. Yeah, I think we heard kind of like, you know, when you kind of did that opening piece and you roll down the volume, the thing that, that really, if, if you're not familiar with what that, that Dumble clean sound is, kind of compared to just the standard blackface mm -hmm. Fender sound of the, the, the twin would produce on its own. This really produces a lot more mid-range, mm -hmm. brings up that low end, kind of makes it bloom, adds a little compression and in, in, in really changes the EQ in a pretty significant way just to kind of bring those notes out in a way that kind of the scooped blackface doesn't do on its own as far as the classic Fenders. In fact, can we just kind of like hear what it sounds like without it on? Oh so yeah, get absolutely. Our reference here? absolutely. All right, so here's just the twin by itself. I mean, beautiful clean so tone by, you know, by anybody's definition. I mean, that's sort of the epitome of right, right. clean amps. The go-to. Yeah, and then this is really just kind of adding its color, the Dumble sound on top of that, which is just adding a little more hair and just more compression, just really giving it that Dumble EQ. <laughs> Sounds, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't want to toot the horn of my own pedal because it, it sounds disingenuous, but I mean, it really, you know, it, it really does make the amp sound like the clean tone is transformed. And some people could say, well, you know, my boost will do kind of a similar thing. And, and I think that, you know, there may be some truth to that it would be adding volume because this right. definitely did add a little bit more volume. But the gain character of this is really like, it's almost like adding three layers. It's adding compression. Mm -hmm. It's adding the EQ, mm -hmm. and then it's adding the gain, and then you have the volume right. on top of all that. And right. so these are all sort of individually matched to match the sound of the Dumble clean sound right. and giving that to you. And it's all really subtle. That's, I mean, obviously the gain thing is, I mean, the volume thing sure. is higher, but, but the rest of it is really subtle. And from a compression standpoint, I can say a lot of times people hear the word compression and they think that it's like, 
keeping a lid or clamping down on your mm. attack or whatever. Yeah. That's absolutely not the case with this. You don't feel that at all. In fact, what you feel is almost the opposite where the low notes are kind of lifted up. Yep. So everything has a lot more even feel to it. Yeah, it makes it fun to play. I mean, I could sit really here when you were playing, like there's almost like a percussive bounce that it produces mm -hmm. compared to the clean tone where it just kind of gives, it makes it a little bit more interactive for players to really kind of engage with their clean tone in a way that they might not ordinarily. Right, right, and with the dynamic sensitivity, it's interesting because you can dig in or not and still get the same response and the same feel. That's what I really like about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So Don, let me take you through kind of some of the options available on the steel string. It's, it's pretty simple for the most part and really identical to the last one in terms of control. We have gain, volume, and filter. And filter is just right. kind of like an interactive mid-range that's kind of sweeping somewhere around kind of like 1.2 on the, on the low end of the mid-range mm -hmm. and maybe around 1.8 at the high end of that oh, okay. mid-range. Great. And then the toggle is just going to be taking away some bass um, when you go into the jazz position, cuts it down about ADB and then increases it back to the stock position of the normal one when in rock. And we'll demo that with the with the Princeton in a moment. Cool. But I'm just going to leave it in rock for now since we have kind of a cleaner, higher headroom amp in the twin. Right. And I'm just going to dial some knobs and let's let's kind of hear what, what goes okay. on. So I'm going to dial kind of like a, just kind of like a clean, clean boosted kind of EQ'd tone. So let's just hear that. <laughs> And darken it up. Other extreme. Thin it out a little bit there. So I'm gonna kind of move it back to the middle. I think it's kind of the sweet spot. Now I'm gonna take the gain down a little bit, increase the volume. Let's hear that. Now I'm gonna go kind of the other extreme, increase the gain and decrease the volume. Gonna go now like kind of a more all out setting, kind of more knobs maxed, leaving the tone straight up. So you can hear that it's not like gonna do the overdrive sound that right. a lot of people they hear Dumble and they immediately think Larry Carlton, mm -hmm. Santana, Robin Ford. And yeah. this is sort of the other end of the spectrum, like single channel, yeah. you know, that takes your clean amp, yep. makes into that Dumble sound, and then you can add your effects going into it. And I was gonna say, I can't, I can only imagine how well this stacks with other gain pedals. Oh, incredibly you know? I mean, well. It's a completely different platform to mm. start from, and so all your distortion pedals are gonna sound and react differently. Now, with the with the MK2, as I kind of touched on a little bit earlier, one of the principal difference between the first and this, this version is that it has the jazz rock switch. And right. the idea behind that was the feedback that we had on the original was, you know, it was a little too bassy in small combo amps. So in certain conditions, that idea of the fat dumble sound just went a little too far. <laughs> a little you know? too fat. <laughs> yeah, it got too fat, and, and, and we wanted to be able to accommodate those people and still allow them to kind of get the essence of that steel string singer sound. Yeah. And so we added the jazz rock switch, so when you go into the jazz position, cuts that bass down a little bit, and gives you the ability to be able to make it a little bit more usable, really through presumably any amp platform. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to you know, leave it in rock, have you play a little bit, and then you know I will you know bring it in at some point, and we'll kind of just let's see what we think about how much of a difference it's making, whether it makes this maybe a little bit more palatable right. to have a small 110 speaker with the Princeton, right, and you know make it still have that sound. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. All right. <laughs> Definitely cuts that bass out, and you can you can hear it definitely when you're on the kind of the the E or the A strings. Kind of definitely takes some of it out. It's just the bottom octave. It's taking the bottom octave out of it. Now we're kind of playing at a moderate level through mm -hmm. this amp, but man, if you had this amp like cooking like on seven or eight, right. you know, and you were and you were like gaining up and stuff, it could get really mushy because you know the inefficiency of the power section and the speaker, which right. is kind of what you're after anyway. Right. It can get super mushy, and that would definitely tighten that up. You know, when you have like some of those old. Tweed Deluxe, since you're cranking those, they can get really mm -hmm. farty on the low end, and mm -hmm. some people like that sound, yeah. you can leave in the rock position, but this is just kind of adding that extra flexibility so that you're not restricted by your right. amp platform right. 
to get this Dumble kind of right, classic right. clean sound. So what I've done is I've dialed in kind of my favorite mm -hmm. setting when we're going to jazz, and I'd love for you to kind of just play a little bit for us on this. Kind of all I did, you know, obviously in the jazz, added maybe a little bit more volume than I would with something with with higher headroom. Gains just slightly above halfway, filters just straight up. And, yeah. You know, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, and this is through the small amp. This is through yeah. the small Princeton 10-inch speaker, so you know, about as small of a combo as you'd probably get. Yeah. So you've heard the Steel String MK2. I feel incredibly fortunate to be able to be sitting here with Don being you know, the, the player for this pedal. What an incredible honor. Uh, Don, if you wouldn't mind playing us out, I'm gonna kind of set this thing to one of my favorite settings and just wanna kind of hear you do your thing and just kind of observe you as, as, <laughs> a, as an audience member. So <laughs> thank you so much for playing. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, yeah you. absolutely. Right. And again, I'm Mason Marangella from Vertex Effects. If you're interested in the Steel String MK2, definitely make sure that you talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer. Don, let's do this thing. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>